Hey, this is Kevin Flerledge with the Flerledge Twins. I'm actually sitting in the car at my daughter's soccer practice and decided to make a video. I don't have my headset, so I hope it sounds okay. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is looking at a one calculation basic bee swarm. A few months ago, my brother wrote this blog post on how to create a basic bee swarm plot. It's not exactly a bee swarm, uh, but it's very, very similar. Um, when he was writing this blog post, I actually shared with him that I do this a slightly different way, and I do it in one calculation. I, I did this very thing on this NFL simulations uh, biz, and uh, it does have one minor difference or maybe a problem, however you want to look at it. These things get lined up, but if you have uh, just two of them, they'll kind of offset. Ken's will center these up uh, along these points. So, But the advantage of mine, one calculation. So let's show you how to do it. So what I have here is Superstore data. I went ahead and filtered it down just a to a month so we can see very easily what we're working with. I am going to right click and drag order date over to columns. By doing that, it will allow me to pick um, whether we want it continuous or discrete and what we want here. So I'm just going to pick order date continuous. I'm going to do that right click again with order ID because what I want to do is count these. So what I'm going to really start off here with is a unit histogram and then we're going to change that over to a basic bee swarm. Again, not an exact bee swarm. And I should mention while we're here, unit histogram is probably a better chart in most uh, use cases, uh, but there are uh, reasons that you might want to use a basic bee swarm. All right, so we have just this bar counting the number of uh, orders by uh, order date. So what we can go ahead and do is put order ID, discrete form, onto detail. And what that's going to do is break this bar into all the different order IDs. So we have 14 order IDs. We have these four diff uh, 14 different blocks here. So we change this to a circle. Well, they'll actually get stacked all on top of each other. So there's 14 marks here if we select that. There's 14 marks down there. You can see these ones that are lighter, there's less marks. So all we need to do is come up here, analysis, stack marks, and on. So now we have this really nice unit histogram. And I really love this chart. Kind of shows uh, what a bar chart would, as, but uh, breaks them out into individual orders. But if we wanted to, if we had a use case for a basic bee swarm, we can do that by sort of centering these, these uh, stacks along a common uh, common axis. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to start off with an index calculation. So if we look at this index calculation, it's pretty simple. Index, open parens, close parens. I'm going to put this on to label. And you see it's labeling every one of them with a 1. That does us no good. So I'm just going to click on here, tell it to compute using order ID. When we do that, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 14 for that stack of 14. we got 1 to 16 for that stack of 16, 1 to 8. So each date is being uh, labeled 1 to whatever. So what, what we really want to do with this is kind of center them up, just like I said. And how I do this is I take the first one, and I want it to be plotted at a coordinate of 1. I want the second one to be plotted at a coordinate of negative one. Third one at two, fourth one at negative two. It's not really one and two and three. It's actually gonna be one and negative one, three and negative three, four and negative, or a five and negative five. So it's gonna be, it's gonna work exactly the same way. But let me just show you how we're gonna do that. So instead of just using a normal index, I'm gonna use this other calculation. I'll zoom in here a bit. So this uses index that we just mentioned, but I'm also using a modulo. So a modulo is basically telling you to divide this number by this factor. So divide this by two, and the modulo is the remainder. So two divided by two has a remainder of zero. Three divided by two has a remainder of one. So what this calculation is doing is saying if the index, which is basically what we're looking at here, if the index modulo 2 has a remainder of 0, index divided by 2 has a remainder of 0, which 2, 4, 6, 8 is going to have a remainder of 0, then yield the index minus 1. Otherwise, just yield the index. 
So let's start with just two. So two has a remainder of two, so we're going to make this two minus one, we're going to make this a negative one, where three does not have a remainder of zero, it's going to just be plotted at three. Four has a remainder of zero, it's going to be four minus three, that's going to be plotted at negative three. So what we have is dots plotted at one, negative one, three, negative three, five, negative five, and so on. So what we can basically turn this unit histogram into is a scatter plot. So I'm just so we can see what's happening, I'm going to drag this onto that calculation. Again, we got all ones. Let's set it to compute using order ID, and you'll see what happens. Let me we've got what was one, two, three, four. We got one negative one, three negative three, five negative five. And now, if we plot these values instead of a normal unit histogram, we can sort of uh, range these along a common axis. So I am going to move this and just hit control and move it over to here. And you see some weird, really weird things happening. But we have this stack mark thing on. For this, we want it off. And now, with that simple one calculation, we have this sort of basic bee swarm. Again, I would recommend that you go read Ken's blog post. It talks about uh, what a bee swarm really is, uh, gives you some caution. And to be quite honest, in this use case, a uh, unit histogram is way better. But in case you have a need for it, here's a way to do it in one calculation. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials on Tableau and all things data related, please check out thefloridgetwins.com. Thank you.